Hello, FlossTube. Welcome to my channel, uh, to episode 39. And um, it is August the 9th, uh, and it's Monday. And uh, I've already gotten my first birthday, first birthday present from my husband, uh, who got me this new ring light. Um, and I got my new phone as well. So this, this studio is kind of new to me. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of looking <laughs> at myself a little bit too much sometimes. I'm trying not to. Uh, so the light is very bright. I'm not used to this, but I hope, uh, you know, the video will be um, nicer somehow, at least when we're looking at my whips. Um, so I've been working with my phone like the whole day. It was just a stupid day to choose, you know, to, to switch phones because, yeah. I messed up, so I had to fix a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I've actually written down some notes in my in my planner, which I use for my cross stitching to try to keep my floss tube a little bit organ organized today, so my thoughts will not just run away. And yeah, I'm pretty pretty good at that but first of all always first of all I would like to say thank you to my subscriber Amanda who has yet again bought me some coffees to support me in my channel and it is so appreciated uh, that you believe in me in my channel and that you like what I do uh, so uh, from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you very much. And if anyone out there wants to support me, if you like what you see, there is a link to buy me a coffee uh, down in the description box. Just press the arrow down below. And it, you don't have to, it's just if you want to support me. Uh, watch the videos, subscribe, hit that like, uh, like button, the bell that helps a lot. So, uh, what's next? <laughs> now I'm gonna get lost in my um, notes. Let's see. Um, check on that. And I've gotten quite a bump in subscribers as well. So hello and welcome. To all the new subscribers, thank you very much. It's really um, overwhelming sometimes. Uh, and thank you to all of you guys who just keeps coming back and keeps giving me comments and writing me sweet emails and, you know, it makes my day. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, uh, I think maybe it is my whip parade that has um, given me that bump. I know heaven and earth designs is very much appreciated. So maybe it's that, or maybe somebody g gave, you know, uh, a shout out. I don't know. Um, so, um, I guess we should just go to plans right away. Let's do that. That's the fun part, right? Um, <clears throat> and I can see my phone is like getting a lot more <laughs> space of filming. So yeah, this is my messy corner where I have my patterns and underneath my desk, I have all my stash, not all of it. Then I have a cupboard out in the living room where I have some more. And then I have all my PDFs patterns. Um, so let's just start with the not so fun one, which is uh, my softest steel. I will leave a picture up here how it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, it's a heaven and earth sign and 
the the artist is Julie Bell Vallejo, uh, and as the stitching penguin um, talked with me a little bit about that, uh, Julie does get a lot of credit for her husband's work. So it could be uh, her husband Vallejo who is the artist. I don't know, but on heaven and earth it says Julie Bell Vallejo. So. Um, as you can see, there is a little bit of nakedness, so just jump ahead if you don't like that. But this, oh, it's not going to show on my web. I'm sorry. So <laughs> this is just um, the top left corner of the pattern. And um, at some point, I decided to just grab a thread of one color and just stitch down until it was finished. <clears throat> and I did that across to here. Um, but I decided this week to go back to stitching a 10 by 10 grid and just park the thread underneath, which is the method I prefer. So I have just filled in to get a straight line. So I'm working downwards. And this design is stitched on 27 count Linda. Um, and I'm stitching a full cross with one thread over one. And um, yeah, I started many years ago. I actually dropped a scissors, my a pair of scissors on this one. So there was like a big hole, which I fixed. So that is why I have stitched it. it I started like in the middle and I had to jump around a little bit because of that hole. Anyway, what else to say about this? Yes, I joined the challenge. I think you all heard about 100 days of hate and it started now on uh, the 1st of August and I joined that. First, I wanted to join with my Amazing Animal Kingdom, but I think this would be a better choice because I've already tried to stitch 100 stitches a day in... Um, June and July, I think. So I will continue on that with this uh, for a hundred days. That fits me perfectly. And I've decided to stitch, uh, you could choose between five minutes a day or 50 stitches a day. So I chose 50 stitches and I've stitched more than that, but th that's perfect, 50 a day. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. Can you see the, this spot here? Yeah. That's a mistake. I picked the wrong color and I didn't want to fudge a hundred stitches. So there's just, I was thinking it won't matter. So, so that is, I've stitched like, you know, 50 a day. It's so it's 50 to a hundred, I guess. Um, and I'm very happy about going back to stitching that. Um, um, every day before I stitch on anything else. Um, and um, the softest steel is also in the challenge, 21,000 stitches in 21, and I'm getting very, very close. So I'm gonna give you some numbers now on softest steel. For this week, I have stitched 813 stitches total. Uh, and in, was it July when I, I stitched on it for Tour de France, I had reached 17,977 stitches. So now I can add the 800 to that and that will bring me to what, 18,700 18, uh, or something. So I'm getting pretty close and I know with the 100 uh, days of hate, I will definitely finish that challenge. What is next? So the first week, like the last week of July, before our sale started, I stitched on Once Upon a Fairy Tale and I had a little goal for this one to finish 
I needed to finish a certain part before I started The Amazing Animal Kingdom. And I, I never thought I would reach it, but I did. So I have it in one of these project bags where I have my thread organizers in there. And I've taken it off the Q-snap. It's not time to to move it just yet, but I'm getting close. So I will do like this. Oh, it looks so good. So I wanted to finish this last row until before I started my animal kingdom and my you know, goal of the year is to finish, you know, the last, the next row here. And I think I will hit the, the bookshelf then. Um, and then it is time to move the Q-snap. So this is pretty nice. I can't wait to get back to this. I could, if it wasn't for Animal Kingdom, I think I would just stitch on this forever because I just love it. Love it. Well, if it wasn't for all the other whips I have, I would just stitch on that, but that's not so much fun for YouTube, is it? Oh, I'm, I'm going too fast. This is on 25 count DC grid. I'm stitching one over one full cross. Um, and do I have a challenge for this? I don't think so. But I stitched 3,011 stitches last week on this one or the week before. So I'll be getting back to my Once Upon a Fairy Tale shortly. So that's that. And what's next? Let's do, where is it? <laughs> Let's talk about the animal kingdom. And I have it in this amazing project bag which my very dear friend Kat from Cat uh, Talks. Hi Kat. She made it herself. She's amazing. I didn't think she had, uh, but I asked and she said I have made everything. And there is a charm on the bag with this sweet uh, flamingo. I'm going to see if my phone is a good one. Um, I love the bag. I love it. So I have my Q-snap and my thread organizers, everything in there. And if you don't know how Animal Kingdom looks like, this is how it's going to look. And I started down here in this corner. Now, I have stitched 4,668 stitches. And there's a lot of fabric to handle. And since I'm stitching from the bottom up all my threads will hang in the way now I will try to get those bobbies away so how you guys think this is going good huh <laughs> so this is my progress yeah it was an easy start because there was a lot of you know, whites and blues. 
Ah, come on, like this. No, it just wants to fall. Wants to fall down. <laughs> I will do this different next time. I will. This is the um, first leg of the reindeer. I'm very happy about that. I could, I, I'm, I'm using the same technique as Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I stitched like over two, let's show you just on the gridding here. I, I stitched like over two of these and then three down. So six squares and I kind of cross country stitch in the, within those and then I park underneath. And I think that works pretty well. It feels like I get a lot of progress each time I finish one of those sections. Uh, and it's very soothing. It's very nice. I really enjoy it. And yeah, I want to continue stitching on <laughs> Amazing Animal Kingdom as well. So yeah, I want to stitch all the things. So it's difficult to decide what to stitch on. And so Animal Kingdom is um, an Amy Stewart design. So it's Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I forgot to talk about that. It's a Heaven and Earth design, of course. And I'm stitching the super sized and max colors for both Once Upon a Fairy Tale and the Amazing Animal Kingdom. I'm sorry I forget that. I always forget that. I've been doing floss tube for one and a half years and I still forget to say that. Um, and this was in the challenge, the bookshelf, bookshelf challenge on full coverage fanatics. Uh, and that is, I guess the August one. And I was supposed to stitch 4,390 stitches and I reached to almost 4,700. So I managed that and, um, yeah, there has been a little bit talk about challenges and serial starting and some people, you know, making some stitchers feel bad about that. Don't just, if you don't like it, just move, move ahead. You know, don't, you don't need to make people feel bad because you have a problem with it. I don't know. Yeah, so I've tried a lot of challenges and I also realized that not, you know, it's not all for me either. I pick my challenges, which I know they won't make me feel bad. Oh my God, this light is bright. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to say more about that. So that was my three hates and um, I've worked on my Mirabilia and my Chatelaine as well, of course. So let's start with my Mirabilia and I want to stitch all the Mirabilias. Liesl, Liesl, Lee Stitch has started showing all her mirror patterns and I'm like, oh, I need to finish this. Anyway, in my last floss tube, I mentioned that I should give my Chatelaine and my Mirabilia an extra day each week. Usually I stitch on them on Fridays and, you know, I switch between them every Friday. So I decided to stitch Mira and Chatelaine's on Tuesdays and Fridays. So they have been given a little bit of extra time, which I'm very happy about. And this is my Lady of Mystery. I think, I don't know, I know I don't remember. Had I finished all the black? I don't remember, maybe I had. So now I've started to fill out, fill in the dress. So this is like how far it will get here. And then it's going down and there's a big blob of color. It's not the most fun stitch to do but she's gonna look amazing when she's finished. And all the white dots you see here, that's where I'm gonna put some beads. 
and I feel like beading so I'm getting close to doing that. I want to fill in this part first because there is going some to be some beads here as well. This one is stitched on 28 count which I do regret a little bit. I There's no Krennic and there's only small beads on this one so it would be perfect to stitch on a 32 count. I think it would look better because you can see th see the fabric through. Uh, it is a hand dyed even weave. Uh, it's called Ruin Moss and it's from Crafty Kitten. Um, yeah. That's all. But I need to finish her. I mean, maybe she's big, but I mean, it's not that much stitching. So I need to finish this. And I've actually added some of this batting. I don't know why I didn't do that before because I've done it on my Chatelaine. So now I'm protecting all of the beads and I just flip it over when I'm going to stitch. So very happy about that. So it has gotten two days of stitching and even if I'm off work, you know, I'm not sitting like from morning to evening. Even if I would like to do that, we have been doing a little bit of stuff. Uh, we haven't been traveling around or anything, but we've been working at home, you know, clearing, throwing stuff and watching movies together, just spending time together. So it's not like I thought I would stitch a lot more than I have. So, but two days of that. And last but not least, my Chatelaine. Oh, I can't wait to get back to this. I was stitching on this late Friday night and I was like, I, I want to stitch more. I just want to do a little bit more, but I was getting so tired. So Chatelaine, it's the Poison Garden. I started it this year and I'm not gonna, you're, you're not gonna see all of it, but the whole, oops, the whole like centerpiece is done. So I'm working on the arcs, arches up here and I don't know, whoops, it fell down. So now you can see the whole thing. Ta-da! Um, I need to see where I'm. So this thing, that's like a green skull, like poison skull. Oh my God. <gasps> it looks so cool. It looks so freaking cool. Now, this part is like finished with all the cross stitching. And I don't think this looks like flowers, but I hope once the back stitching and all the special T stitches are there, it's going to look amazing. And there's going to be a little bit of beads. Uh, I was thinking I was going to do another uh, stitch with me like last Friday because it's time to do the satin stitches and there are some road stitches and a gel a Algerian eyelets, I think, to show you, you know, this is how I do it. I am no professional whatsoever. This is the first time I ever stitch anything specialty stitch at all. So I'm just reading the instructions and I need to be better at watching YouTube floss tube for speci specialty stitches too before I do this. But I decided to actually, I'm going to finish all the cross stitching for these, this part before I start with back stitching and beading and all this, and then I will film. So I'm really looking forward to, to get back to that as well. Um, and I want to finish that too. I know I'm not going to finish it soon because there's quite a lot still. But, you know, I really want to stitch all the shadow lanes too. <laughs> so I will fix that later. Um, so that has also gotten two days. Uh, 
I have one of my dogs just standing outside the door. He doesn't like when the doors are closed. My God, that was all the whips. Good. Let's continue. So, um, what should we talk about next? Yes, stitch alongs. So Amazing Animal Kingdom is a stitch along which is hosted by me and Cat Talks. And we started it on 1st of August together with a lot of others out there. So if you want to join, uh, please do. You don't have to start it. You can already, you know, be stitching on it. Uh, and we're using a hashtag which is, uh, yeah, for a style and um, hashtag ambitious amazing animal adventure and we are using that on Instagram to post so please do that so we can look at each other's progress and encourage each other and yeah give some positive vibes um, but there is also another a stitch along I'm going to join and that is uh, the stitch along from Casa Senina. It's a Halloween stitch along. It's just going to last for like a month, maybe a month and a half. They're releasing the pattern in three different parts, uh, starting in the middle of September. And then there's one, I think, in the beginning of <clears throat> October and one in the middle of October. I think it's like that. And it's not a big one. I don't remember the, the stitched count, but it's not a big one. And you're only using two colors. Um, you're using 310 and then a gray one, which was a double zero four, I think. Ah, no, zero four. <clears throat> um, and it cost like seven, eight euro. So. I thought that sounded fun. I love Casa Sanina. I have two go-to stores now. It's Casa Sanina and it's Puderi Koyen in Sweden. Casa Sanina is an Italian store and they're both, you know, in the European Union. So I like them a lot. They have great customer service. So that's where the two places where I do my, where I do my shopping mainly um, so if you're interested in the cell uh, if you like Halloween and if you're like me I think it's it sounds like fun you don't know what you're gonna stitch and uh, yeah if you want to join me in that stitch along uh, I will leave a link down here below uh, which will take you to Casa Sanina because I joined their affiliate uh, friendship club or something uh, which means that if you find anything of what I've purchased or what I'm doing um, and if you would like to purchase the same thing you can use the link uh, I post in the description box uh, it, it will not cost you anything I know a lot of people uh, do the same thing on Amazon so you use that link to go to Casa Senina and in the end I guess I get a little percentage of of what Casa Senina you know I charge you for for maybe threads so but you don't pay anything more so it's just for supporting my channel um yeah so I'm I'm looking forward to that stitch along I'm not good at stitch alongs really because I always you know stop I've stopped I think all the stitch alongs I've I've joined so but this one I need to finish this one it's so short it's a small one uh, so yeah please join me in that uh, so that was the stitch along uh, 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 uh. oh yeah and on 1st of August uh, we had the common threaded stitcher uh, starting on Instagram so it is um, a way of getting to know the, you know, stitching friends, the community, 
the floss tubers uh, and you get a prompt every day where you post a picture and you describe something like the first day it was introduce yourself so I posted a picture and talked a little bit about myself I joined that um, I didn't post anything yesterday because it was like stitchy friends and I didn't know how to do that because I only have you guys and I don't know I can't put out pictures on all of you so I don't know um, yes but go check comments uh, thread the stitcher out on Instagram there's a hashtag and there's like yeah there's the hashtag and there's a lot of floss tubers out there and a lot of all of you many of you guys are out there as well so there is always someone that uh, you find interesting and you find something in common with so that that's really nice um so and i also want to give a, a shout out a youtube shout out it's one uh, it's a new floss tuber and she hasn't gotten that many subscribers yet i was watching the rocky stitcher uh, and she was so happy because her friend Elisa had started a floss tube channel so I promised to go over there watch her channel I started to subscribe right away because she was stitching all the things that I like and I wanted to give her a shout out as well she's an American lady and her channel is called E uh, crafting Colorado I will link her down below in the in the description box so please head over uh, and yeah watch her uh, floss tube and if you like it I'm sure you're gonna like it she uh, I liked her voice she was very calm she was funny um, yeah I liked her a lot she was uh, really my cup of tea so go subscribe yes and uh, yeah I have to mention Liesl Stitch again I mean what a mirabilia collection she has oh my god and her sweet daughter gwen and ian her son also turns up in the latest floss tubes so they're always nice to see there's a lot of you guys out there that are always so nice to see you that makes me so happy when i see a new floss tube out there so yes um i'm sorry i sometimes it's not good to have these notes because i'm like focusing so much on this but also on friday the 13th it is it is my uh birthday so um yeah if you want to like celebrate with me <laughs> uh stitch something that makes you think of me something i like uh something yeah uh you know mirabilia shalane heaven and earth's full coverage uh, whatever you know and um, tag me on Instagram and show me your picture that would be awesome um, and I cannot believe my husband gave me this ring light it's just wow but it's very <laughs> it's very light so um, I think I'm going to talk a little bit about plants before we get to the giveaway and I have some haul and then you're free to go <laughs> yeah so plans I was thinking about a plan because I want to stitch on my once upon a fairy tale I want to stitch on my amazing animal kingdom but at the same time I really want to finish my mirabilia I'm like I have to finish at least one mirabilia this year oh my god I can't I I have to finish one so I actually want to give my lady a mystery a little bit a little bit of extra attention this week um, and yesterday yeah I was thinking about plants because I still want to bring out the the wheel you know to choose some other um, heaven and earth design to stitch on to give a little bit of content um so i was thinking like this 
This week I'm going to stitch on my Mirabilia. On Friday I'm stitching on my Chatelaine. Um, and I'm going to stitch on my softest steel for the 50 stitches a day. Um, and because I usually stitch, usually, I started stitching um, two days a week on Mirabilia and Chatelaine. So tomorrow I was supposed to stitch on Mirabilia, but since I'm going to stitch on her the whole week, I will spin the wheel and I'm going to work on that piece on this Tuesday and the next Tuesday. Uh, and if I get tired of Mirabilia, I will stitch on that Heaven and Earth a bit this coming weekend as well. And for the next week, I'm going to stitch on Once Upon a Fairy Tale because I really want to reach my goal for the year so I can, you know, finish that part. I think it is, it's, uh, I think it's almost four pages done then so I can move my cue snap. So those are the plans. So that means I need to grab my phone and hopefully I can do the record recording screen um yeah before i do that i'm gonna tell you something i did i switched phones right here's my old phone this is the old one and i'm filming with a new one and uh, there was like this smart switch or something so i could move all the things i had on this phone to the other phone and then I just started deleting stuff in this phone when I was done. And I forgot to look on my uh, wheel, you know. And yeah, the wheel I had made in my old phone with all the heaven and earth whips and the color coloring, com you know, I have the colors in the wheel which matches the, the project bags. So it was gone. I had to redo that. I wasn't happy. <laughs> I wasn't happy. So I will be right back. Okay. I hope this is working. Um, let's see. Where's my wheel? Here we go. So I made a new one and let's just spin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it is Animal Kingdom again. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I can see my battery on my sound is almost over. So I'm sorry if uh, the sound changes in the middle of the recording. So Animal Kingdom for, yeah, when I get bored at Mirabilia. So that, uh, that fits very well. That's just perfect. Now I'm going to uh, talk about the giveaway right away. Uh, and wow, thank you everyone for uh, joining. Unfortunately, there were a few that hadn't opened up their account. So I don't know how you do that in the settings. So we can see which channels you are subscribed to. So as I said, you have to do that. If you haven't done that, then you can't win the giveaway. But now the one who has done that and who is the winner of the giveaway is I Hoove. I Hoove. I recognize this name and she's writing. I'm sorry if I'm tur turning my back, but she writes, happy birthday to you. I have way too many hates started, but my favorite is Amy Stewart's fairy tale bookshelf and wow 
what a perfect choice that is really yeah i understand that's your favorite and if you haven't started it already you should do that so i hoove i don't know your real name maybe i do but maybe i don't please uh send me an email you can find my email down in this in the description box or if you're following me on instagram send me a private message my instagram name is ranja76 with double j so please do that and we will find out which heaven and earth pattern you will choose i'm looking forward to this so congratulations now let's head over to hall I was enabled. I need a bigger room. Yeah, I will just grab the stuff from the from from the floor. Never mind. I ordered a project bag. I'm so stupid because I should have ordered the 10 pack from Amazon, which is a lot more cheaper than buying them singles from Casa Senina. But I was ordering from them, so I was like, well, never mind. I just need one. And Heike from Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, she enabled me when she showed the flip through of this magazine. And I was like, I want to stitch all the things. I want to do pillows and ornaments and just so silly. But I love this one and this one and this one. They're so cool. And that hat. Yeah. So go watch Heike when she's doing the flip through it's a really nice one and someone else who enabled me is Darren um, my just Darren I know his name and I have yeah I will link him down below my god i just the, the name just is something in stitch stitch i'm i'm sorry darren um yes he's stitching the north american mammals and uh, yeah so now i'm gonna show you something look at this <laughs> I, I mean who aren't I love getting DMC threads like this I could sit and watch them all day so this is all the DMC threads for not all almost all the DMC threads for the North American mammals and yes I'm going to stitch the super size, the max color, and I'm starting in the middle. And I'm I need to start it soon. I'm missing two colors and the Krennic. I'm not gonna buy Krennic. Uh, I usually sub the Krennic with treasure braid. But I don't know if I want to do the treasure braid on this. I might just switch to the B5200. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But it's like in the middle of, you know, the, the mountain lion or the cougar. In the middle, his cheeks. I think that's where the shiny stuff is. So if I'm starting in the middle, I need to make that choice pretty soon. Yeah, so now I have everything all over the floor. I got me some 
25 count uh, easy grid and I got a big piece because my plan was to start two super sized um, but now I'm like I, I don't know it costs a lot of money to get DMC and I cannot choose I have some 28 uh, count to a big piece and I have the waterhole master the super sized I have a place of her own I have um, faces of fairies I think is 236 or 235 they have released it as a max color so I'm very interested in that and then you have the stitching shelf super size max color I'm like drooling all over the place when I see it so I don't know but it's a big piece of this and I got some extra also from Casa Sanina and if you're a European and if you're looking for this, just use the link down below. What else did I get? Yes. Also from Casa Senina, I got some When I um, searched the edges of my fabric, I used a lot of thread. Uh, so I got myself some thread and surprise, I got a little bit of Mirabilia Love. It is um, Fairy Tales, the MD20 and Deco Spirits, the MD19. I like this one a lot and it's going to there you go and then I got this on uh, Etsy English, English roses. And it's so beautiful. And the roses there is like, I guess you use, um, yeah, silk ribbon. Very beautiful. So that was second hand. That's an out of print. And then I couldn't resist the Fox few. I have three of some of the other in the series is so cool i would really like to stitch it and you're using uh weeks that works and what's the cc standing for color color works color yeah i don't know very cutesy And oh yeah, also from Casa Senina, I got the Stone Roses, the MD17. So pretty. She is so beautiful. Additional supplies needed. Floss needed for backstitch, pearl buttons, and white ribbon. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, I need to finish my Mirabilia. And uh, yeah, we have some more mirror pattern patterns. Mermaids, mermaids, I love mermaids. I don't like mermaids. And where is that? I got the um, embellishment pack for that because this is one of the ones I want to stitch and it's just going to fall. And then two, which I've been eyeing for a long time, are the Royal uh, Games 1 and 2. 
and I got the embellishment packs for them as well because this is something I want to stitch. Why I didn't like them f at first is because it was on white fabric and I didn't like that but you know cards are white but now I think it's gonna look pretty good and I want the sparkly white. And I got the Angel Angel Proclamation. I think this is pretty cute actually. It's the MD25. It's very nice. And it's not last. I have something. Um, yeah, mermaids. We don't like mermaids. No. <laughs> but somehow I love the mermaids mirably as, but I have a little bit of problem because you know, Bella Fili Filipina, some of them have started to grow on me and especially this one. The enchanted enchantress of this abyss. I see that now. This is like back and forth. Yeah. And I got beets and specialty floss. I think there is a Krennic in this as well, but as you all know, Krennic is, you know, we're having problems with Krennic. And I heard the treasure braid is also. Uh, becoming a problem. Now here is something I ordered a while back ago. I, I cannot believe it's here. <laughs> it's not Mirabilia, but it's Nora Corbett and it is the three first Zodiac Girls. And this is the last haul, then I will let you go. I don't think I have anything else. So I got the full kits and I don't know why they, I didn't like the, how the patterns came. This is Aries. Oh, they are so cool. And it's just like a double sided paper. It's not, uh... yeah, I thought that was a little bit weird actually. And then I can, it's the embellishment pack. It is the fabric. I wanted the same fabric for, for all of them. And then you have the specialty threads here. And I didn't get the DMCs for this. I don't think they were included in the, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so that was Aries and then the other one was Taurus so again same uh, specialty threads the fabric the embellishment pack and the pattern oh look at those colors and it's so cool it's like elegant ladies with horns on their head. It's so funny. And the last one, but not least, <clears throat> is the Gemini. So again, you have the embellishment pack, not too many beads and fabric and specialty threads and the pattern and why I'm so happy about the Gemini it's because my daughter is a Gemini. 
so yeah Hawkins hobbies I ordered it from them and I can't wait to get the other three girls and then we're halfway there uh, they took a picture of uh, all the waiting orders they have because they haven't gotten any chronic so uh, it's it's a problem unfortunately but Jesus that was all that was all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I've gotten through all the notes yes so also for plans I promised you uh, a video on my Mirabilia stash and maybe you know the fabric because all the fabric is bought for them um, I promise you to go through that and I want to also like you know do a screen film on my full coverage will mainly have an unearth uh, pattern so you can see which I have um, have I promised anything else I don't know and I hope I get to do a couple at least a uh, stitch with me where we can talk a little bit and give you a little bit you know a little life update whatever let you know the thoughts just flow and maybe some with just music so um, I think that's all don't forget stitch on something uh, full coverage mirabilias your shadowings whatever on Friday the 13th for my mother who gave birth to me on a Friday the, th the 13th Jesus um, anyway um, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching shall we thank you for watching uh, thank you for subscribing don't forget to hit the likes and the bell uh, if you want to support me buy me a coffee look at the commercials whatever and use the Casanina link uh, send me a mail give me some comments oh Linda stop talking you guys I will see you soon and if not uh, before then in two weeks when it's time for my next floss tube I hope don't forget to send me an email or send me a, a private message message over at Instagram take care stay safe Mwah. love you all bye mm -hmm.